If I left, then it ain't awesome. So it's still your friends and they only your friends. Baby, never mind. 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 Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está? Bien. Bien. Me estrenaste porque te estrené. Poquita. No muy. Okay, I'll take that, y'all. This is the Hubble Space, brought to you by Secrets Beyond the Tarot Tarot Group. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Um, thank you for the like, share, subscribes. Make sure you continue to do so as they help me pick up on your energy for future reads as well as circulate the um, channel here on YouTube. So I decided I have a really, 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 busy day today but i wanted to get some type of content out for my hubs and hubbies so we're going to do a quick channeling for the divine feminine karmic and um divine masculine see what comes up who comes through so without further ado let's go okay first card that we have here uh oh that's all fucked up ain't it that's all fucked up here we go. Let me turn this off. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So. No, that's perfect. Okay. So the first one we have is I'm not in love with you anymore. So uh, it's been pretty clear that um, this I'm picking up masculine vibes. You do not. Uh, this reading is not gender specific. Just know ahead of time. So um, take the roles, flip them, reverse them as you need to, as you feel um, fit. Uh, and then also, um, this message just isn't going to resonate with everyone. This isn't going to be everybody's situation. So, yes, yeah, take what fits and leave the rest. So, it says, I'm not in love with you anymore. I definitely get masculine energy. It definitely feels like a motherfucker telling somebody like, hey, um, you know, we didn't had a good run. Uh, there could be some masculines that's experiencing karmics coming back. Uh, hell, um, feminines coming back and they're just like, you know, I don't know if there's enough chemistry there anymore or I'm just done. I've, uh, we've overexerted, um, you know, any possibilities of getting back together. We tried and tried again and I am exhausted. I don't want anything more to do with this, uh, situation. It's not possible. It's not going to happen. Um, or for some of y'all, this masculine could be letting y'all know they not they in love with somebody else. Like, she is simply put, <laughs> I'm not in love with you no more. I found somebody else, period. So, um, the next card we have is, we separated so we could grow individually. But you haven't changed. Okay. All right. So... Yeah, there could have definitely been some type of discussion here um, this past weekend, the week prior leading up to this week, where a, um, a divine masculine had to let somebody down easy. Like, look, I don't know what it is you're not getting. I know in the past we did this back and forth thing, real on and off thing, but I'm just not there no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm elevating myself, my mind. I'm becoming more mature. I'm doing some self-work. And um, that's just not a repetition that I want to um, indulge in any longer. Um, I thought I could give you some chances i thought i could give you some space some time uh to do your own thing to kind of look within yourself you know because i know i can't do it for you i didn't try and it never worked so i wanted to give you your own space you know what i'm saying hoping hoping you come back and maybe we could um you know uh reconcile we could get back together and see where it goes but it's clear you know what i'm saying just talking to you now it's clear that you um you just not what i need you know what i mean you may be what i want but i feel like a masculine has definitely been able to separate um the the understanding between um a want and a need when it comes to dealing with a certain um person in their lives uh whether it be the karmic uh, or just you know one of the karmics definitely strongly feel like he has um did some inner work and there's been some type of revelation some type of um enhancement mentally you know to where he's like man i, I definitely desire you um basically separating the um 
the lustful aspect, the more passionate aspects, the more materialistic aspects from actual um, love, actual partnership, actual contribution. You know what I'm saying? So the next card we got is, um, I don't know if I can forgive you. So he didn't let the um, young karmic, you know what I'm saying, down. You know, he didn't let her down. You know, he told her like this, you know, I, you know, I got to do me. I got to go my own way. He checked the deuces up, right? So, um, yeah, I told you that I'm leaving. I don't know why. Ooh. Okay, anyway, this is not a little lyric, so let me stay focused. It says, I don't know if I love you anymore. I feel it's crazy because, you know, when you be ordering like food and shit or you be ordering something from like uh, Uber Eats. And you could track it and shit. I don't know why that's just the vis visualization, the visual that I just seen. I said visualization. Kiss my ass. <laughs> so yeah, that's the visual that I just seen. I just seen like a like the GPS um, depictment, and I definitely feel like um, this person like followed the yellow brick road. Like this person is definitely following um, where their heart has led them. They've been doing work to lead them to this moment or to this um, phase to finally get to a certain phase or to a certain confidence level to approach the divine feminine. Hold Sam though. He feminine. I know you in there. It's me. Divine masculine. <laughs> and she like, nigga, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> so whole time divine feminine like shit i wasn't expecting it to be you hmm dreams finally came true but nah it's overdue this bitch like uh-uh i ain't going for that no no way jose not at all so i definitely feel like there's a handful of divine feminists that just feels like this has been ex exhausting this has been long overdue um, and they just don't want nothing else to do with it. This is something that they're not willing to explore or accommodate anymore. They don't trust it. And, um, for some of them, they moved on, but then there's another, uh, portion of you guys, the other half of you guys that's still like, I'm not going to necessarily say been putting y'all life on hold, but been putting y'all life on hold. That's kind of like subconsciously been waiting. You trying to move contingent on you progress, progressing and, you know, um, levitating and, um, focusing on yourself, but whole time you still in like there's a little bit of yourself inside a little bit of you just a little bit little sprinkle that still hopes that this masculine would get his shit together or uh or or turn away from this other situation that he was you know um entangled in or mingling in mixing in and come towards you, get his shit together, you know what I'm saying, and just really be on some, um, solidarity, uh, monogamous ass shit, and he, it seems like for, for what I'm feeling for a good majority of you, it does seem like this masculine is really putting the foot forward to, um, to come towards you, like, it really does feel like a lot of these, um, divine masculines have, like, dropped a load, and had to kind of rebuild themselves you know what i'm saying rebuild um them their selves their stability um their mental their emotional and um i definitely feel like for a lot of them they um did not want you to kind of uh fall victim of getting coded in this like toxic residue that they still had okay they were in possession of so the next card we have is <laughs> let's take things slow. I'm still adjusting. So what did I say? I, I definitely feel like this masculine for the, a lot of them are coming towards their feminines, but they're very scared in, in, a, in, a, in a, a union, in a situation, in a collaboration where they already felt inadequate, where they already felt less than, where they already felt like they didn't meet the expectations. They weren't leveling up. They didn't, um, you know, they couldn't meet you, um, you know, even surface level, you know what I mean? Um, so hell no, nah, they wouldn't get into the depths of you. You feel me? I feel like they definitely just felt like it was already a situation that they kind of needed to just, um, that was unobtainable. That was kind of impossible. That was just a dream or a fantasy. Now they're finally just, um, you know, relinquishing them, those control issues, relinquishing all the doubts and, they're like, hey, what do I have to lose? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I can attest to the fact that I do have this um, 
unexplainable connection with this person. I have been running for, from this situation. It has been leading me to nowhere, the fuck nowhere at all. Um, so what do I have to lose at this point? I've lost everything. All I could go is up from here. You feel me? Um, and I definitely feel like, um, a lot of you may be playing hard to get with that card that said, um, with that card prior that said, I don't know if I can forgive you, but I do feel like this masculine will be showing and proving. This masculine is willing to do anything um, to kind of uh, show and prove. He, I mean, for the most part, I feel like a lot of them already know um, what determination and what follow through, um, what progressive behavior is needed for this to be a success. So they coming in this shit already knowing your expectations. Why I said a lot of them was moving slower than fucking molasses because um, where they had a lot of doubt um, and they were very um, contem uh, contemplative, where they were very um, worried about the outcome, the longevity of um, this divine uh, relationship, I feel like I just feel like now it's like the type of attitude. I don't have anything to lose. Let me show you what I can do so we can get to a commonality so we can see if this is what it's all wrapped up to be. If we could see, um, you know, what lies beneath this attraction, this pull towards one another. This masculine is very curious right now as to um, just where this can go. Like before, he was so much in his head and so fearful that he wasn't even, he didn't even want to think about it. It was the type of thing where he would have a conversation with you, uh, feminine, and he would definitely, he would be so sh like, he would be so sure shocked that he, he couldn't move. You know what I'm saying? He just holding the phone or he just staring at the damn text messages or even days after y'all talk or y'all have these um, encounters. This motherfucker just like stuck, literally stuck, literally stuck, um, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to kind of um, maneuver uh, these feelings that he were he was feeling they were too intense and it ultimately made him ice you cut you off run things of that nature but at this point i really do feel like a good majority of these uh masculines are like you know what let me just see where this goes let me take my time with it let me move a little slower because i already know that i'm on e i ain't got much to give financially emotionally spiritually uh, hell, physically, sexually, none of that. I'm depleted. This motherfucker that I'm detaching from or that I didn't detach from has left me on E, has depleted me, finished my ass. So I'm not coming in with a whole lot as it is. Um, at least me kind, at least let me kind of build up my stamina because I do know what you're going to be expecting. I do know that you're going to have, um, boundaries put in place this time i do know that this is like my last chance to kind of show and prove so with that being said this masculine is kind of really you know trying to ease in there trying to work on themselves at least to the point where they can stand on their two feet they crawling right now you know what i'm saying they thirst is quenched they need a great gatorade for real like um i mean is 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 uh what? I said they thirst quenched. No, they thirst isn't quenched. They need a Gatorade for real. Um, I definitely feel like this person is depleted. This person is, um, for some reason, I don't know why I'm getting dry lips, y'all. I know that's weird as fuck, but I'm getting dry lips. So this, this masculine health could be at a decline. This, this masculine could like, be fucking dehydrated uh this masculine could be lacking vitamins and nutritions within their body just putting they self really put their selves on a back burner for um whoever this was that they were entertaining whoever this was this karmic um karmita or carmichael that they was entertaining like giving all their funds just ext over extending they self for a motherfucker who wasn't um you know putting that same applying that same pressure so i definitely do feel like this person wants to come like i said but they just want to take their time um so instead he wins the race they're a firm believer in that but i do feel like for a lot of y'all this masculine coming in and they're gonna express to you like yo i just left something even if they don't express it you it'll be evident 
it'll be fucking a blind man could see the shit. Like it could, it'll be evident. They'll let you know, like I'm single. I really don't want to talk about it, but I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm at your mercy. Like, is it, it, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to work on it. Just bear with me type of thing. Um, Ooh, okay. Or will you have a baby for big daddy? So for some of y'all, um, some of these could be karmic too. But for a lot of y'all, these masculines, um, I'm definitely feeling like there's a group of masculines who wants to come in and they're banking. Like they know, they already know that you ain't really fucking with them. You like it ain't a chance in hell. Like I don't believe you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hear what you're talking about. I'm gonna hear you out. But I don't, I don't trust you further than I could throw you. I don't believe shit you saying. Um, you know, we, we, we have this past history of you not being a man of your word, you being uncompliant, you, um, you know, selling me a dream bread, crumbing me, gaslighting me, um, just really just playing the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? Being really aloof, cold, um, being very, um, very, uh, vulgar, um, you know, with your word and towards my feelings, just, uh, uh, just giving you the fucking beneath the bare minimum, treating you just really, um, unfair. And I feel like a lot of them know that this is it. Like, this is it. A lot of them is not even really banking on this opportunity when they come in because they really do feel like, um, you're over it. They really do feel like the damage is done. A lot of them just want to cop out for real, for real and be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a missed opportunity. But I do see some type of situation coming, I mean, coming up here. This could be the weekend. This could be within a couple of weeks. It does feel like it's toward, it's the end of June toward the um, beginning, uh, the first two weeks of July. So within the next month here, I see a situation coming where you have the chance, if you guys have been in separation from your masculine, um, or if your masculine has just been very um, uncommunicative, uncommunicative or uh very distant um or uh non-compliant non-verbal i definitely feel like y'all gonna have this chance to kick it right and maybe a date night and i definitely do feel like a lot of these masculines plan on getting um y'all pregnant y'all uh some for some of y'all y'all haven't even seen this motherfucker like i said y'all haven't even seen this masculine or this karmic uh this karmic but this person has every intentions on either getting pregnant or getting you pregnant so be be um you know hip to that be 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 don't be sleep because i definitely do see some of y'all really wanting that but some of y'all already experienced that and some of y'all are very um hesitant about that um just because the way that this motherfucker been moving um some like i said some of y'all already have kids with this masculine and this masculine could feel a lot of guilt um, because possibly, uh, like I said, take it as it resonates. Some of y'all, I hear some of y'all now talking about, we don't even got no kids. But um, some of these masculines already have children with you. This could be a baby daddy. This could be your ex-husband. This could be your uh, husband now. You know what I'm saying? This could be whoever, your ex-wife, your, you know, baby mama. Um, I just definitely feel like, for some reason, a lot of these co-parenting situations didn't get a fair chance. Um, there wasn't a lot of, a lot of justice in these, uh, co-parenting situations. Somebody didn't do their due diligence. Somebody don't, doesn't feel like they gave enough. Doesn't feel like they gave somebody an equal shot or equal opportunity, fair shot, fair opportunity. Somebody feels like, um, they want to make it right. There's, there's a masculine that feels like they want to make something right in a co-parenting situation. Um, it's the message that I'm getting. Um, and prematurely, <laughs> immaturely enough this masculine could very well be thinking having another baby will solve the problem getting you pregnant again is like a do-over whoo listen i don't even got no tea let me hit this hookah real quick hold on Whew. these masculines these 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 karmics these masculines oh my god it could be feminine too take it as it resonates i'm just saying but yeah, um, uh, very uniquely enough, what I'll say <laughs> is a lot of them want to come rushing in, getting y'all popped off so that they can have a redo. Maybe it was a situation where they were stuck with a karmic who was pulling them away from their children or from their child. Maybe they were stuck in a situation where they couldn't give to your family dynamic because they was playing a uh, daddy, playing mama somewhere else. This person wants to rush in and wants to, um, 
kind of rebirth this this equation uh rejuvenate this uh equation some of them are more mature and some of them do just want to um kind of uh give this co-parenting thing a fair shot some of them do want to just work on the children or the child that you guys already have but for a, a lot of them what i'm feeling i'm feeling feeling is very potent a lot of their master plan is to come in and get y'all popped off now if y'all don't have kids already some of them could be feeling like they want to get you knocked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my only shot. Let me get this motherfucker knocked up, and this will be my meal ticket up out this jam. Or this will assure that, um, you know, I got a spot. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my placement. This will assure my placement. This will assure that Shorty or uh, Buddy has to give me, a, you know, another chance or a fair shot because I know I'm damn near out the door. And that's just the message I got. Take it as it resonates. Next card. <laughs> You're boring in the bedroom. Ooh! Why do I feel like this feminine energy? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all coming harder than the paint. I can't even lie. A lot of y'all feminists coming harder than the paint. Y'all finna make this motherfucker feel exactly what he put you through. Exactly how he made y'all feel. Y'all got every intention to do so. Oh, you want me that bad? Oh, 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 you do anything? Oh, you at my mercy? Bet. A lot of y'all motherfuckers is finna make these motherfuckers feel it. You like, after I'm done with this motherfucker, I'm finna wipe my ass with this rag. I'm going I'm to clean it, wring it out, wipe my ass again, clean it, wring it out. And if this motherfucker pass all that, then we could talk. But a lot of y'all have every intention. A lot of y'all going to keep it 1,000 with this motherfucker. Like, let's just put everything on the table type shit. Why do I envision a masculine coming in? Or, um, like I said, masculine, you could just be a female harboring masculine energy. So it's not gender specific. But why do I see a masculine coming in? And literally, like, on some boss shit. A pinstripe suit and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some boss shit. A, a cigar and shit. Like, all right, let's sit all the, ta um, you know, let's sit all the cards on the table. So there's some things I want to get off my chest. There's some things that I want no, to to be to be let known. There's some things that I want to know. So here we go. Let's you start. And I just feel like motherfuckers is really going to tell <laughs> tell their truth. Okay, a lot of them is gonna come with the tea. I mean the whole fucking cat, <laughs> the whole tea. <laughs> the whole pot okay they is not coming with a glass a lot of these motherfuckers gonna tell motherfuckers straight up like look a lot of things you know i was i was dummying down we was not on the same level me and you both know that we weren't on the same level i was dummying down like a motherfucker like you weren't even my type like literally you know you don't dress the part you don't look the part your bank account ain't the part you know what i'm saying you is not the vibe but you know, we had this 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 unexplained connection that I couldn't deny. So, you know, I was giving you a little, you know, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. I was giving you um a chance. But for real, though, if we being honest, like, y'all finna let these motherfuckers have it. Because y'all been playing Little Miss Bo Peep. Y'all been playing um Miss Sally Walker for too long. And a lot of y'all like, man, this, mo this motherfucker played me. Like, you really played me. Like, I don't even, I, I like tall, dark, and handsome, nigga. You short, light, and stubby. Like, I don't even fuck with niggas like you. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like... Y'all materialistic, but I'm just saying, like, damn, to get played by a motherfucker I wasn't even feeling to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was pursuing the hell out of me. I ain't want shit to do with you type shit. You was borderline stalking me and shit um, to get on my team. And then you want to play games? Like, be fuck. I definitely feel like a lot of y'all finna let this shit be known. Like, um, you know, buddy, <laughs> we were in the bed and for the most part, shit, I was thinking about what I was finna wear for the prior week to work and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you weren't even pleasing me and shit. Like, your sex game is whack. For real, I could upgrade you a whole lot, but I just would be watching and shit and it wasn't pleasing to me. I had all the tricks. You went on shit. Yo shit wasn't even, yo shit wasn't even moderate, nigga. <laughs> like your shit wasn't shit and i really was planning on wifing you up i was i was planning on giving you the ring miss i was doing all that you know what i'm saying miss no walls no 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 miss 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 no walls dry walls okay like i was really finna put a ring on your finger despite all that like i was feeling you and you had me fucked up period Ooh, a lot of y'all like trigger warning a lot of y'all 
motherfuckers has, have been holding back for a time like too long motherfuckers have been holding back too long like i never liked your sister i never liked this i never liked that you know what i'm saying like your mama ain't shit and <laughs> a lot of y'all motherfuckers is gonna let loose on this motherfucker hell y'all maybe y'all may close the uh, cycle out y'all selves right then and there shit because this motherfucker gonna be appalled like this this person that's coming in wanting to uh put a baby in you impregnate you and shit this person, this masculine energy is definitely, they already expecting you to like, you to get their ass, right? They already expecting for this to be an uphill battle. But you don't take it too far, uh, Divine Feminine. Like, I know you've been holding shit back and I know you've been playing silly. You've been playing dumb. You've been selling yourself short for this motherfucker. But don't, you know what I'm saying? It's good karma and it's bad karma. Karma is real. Like, regardless of what this motherfucker did to you, you're getting blessed and you're going to continue to get blessed because you didn't and stoop to their level stooping to their level will only delay progress baby so don't go there because a lot of y'all like shit i can't wait for this motherfucker to come back i'm gonna rip them a new asshole i'm gonna let them know i'm gonna let them have it you feel me let that stress go stress causes wrinkles princess period stress causes wrinkles honey um the next one is i think about you so often it hurts me so I definitely feel like this um masculine is finna let like once you I, I do I really do feel like it's gonna be like taking turns y'all finna have this really in depth conversation to get everything on the table and off y'all off y'all minds right out y'all systems I definitely feel like this um masculine is gonna let you know like shorty not a day went bad not you know what i'm saying there wasn't a time i was always thinking about you i was always fantasizing about you i was always wishing that you know um we could have got this thing right or that i could have came rushing in to like rescue rescue you or i could have came rushing in to protect you to love on you you know what i'm saying what a family with you would be like how it would feel to wake up beside you in the morning you know what i'm saying how to feel you know coming home from work and seeing you the kids and you know what i'm saying are you in my t-shirt uh the kids running to the door i always had those fantasies like and the shit hurted me it hurted my heart it hurt my heart but I just felt like my hands was tied. I didn't want to put you in no jams. I knew you deserved a certain caliber of me that I couldn't give you. And it it, I, it, it, it in turn hurt the shit out of me. It broke my own heart. I broke my own heart. He finna confess. He He's gonna confess. He's like, I knew. I didn't been through them all. I didn't had them all. She, she knew. I didn't had them all. I didn't had, look, the Baskin Robbins, what is it, 31 flavors? I didn't had every one. Bootylicious bubble gun. But yeah, I didn't had all of them. I didn't had it all. I had Apple opportunities to wife hoes. Um, wife these niggas up. I didn't got uh, wedding proposals, all this. I didn't have the, the worst niggas from the best niggas. I didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Every, everything you could imagine. I didn't been through it. I didn't had every motherfucker you could imagine. And nobody, nobody, nobody has made me feel the feelings. Nobody has made me want to change the way that you made me want to change. I have now realized and come to accept the fact that you are the high priestess. You are my divine feminine. Like this motherfucker standing on that now before and readings before the energy is crazy because they don't know what got him with this type of energy, y'all. Because the, the, the motherfucking readings before on God, the, the nigga was not, he was not trying to, uh, -uh. Mm -mm, no, he was not trying to pay homage to that shit. He was like, hell nah, like, yeah, it's a dozen of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like picking berries off a damn bush. You, <laughs> they're a little different. You know what I'm saying? They taste a little different, but, uh, uh, they all the same. They all about the same. And he was standing on that shit like shit. You could be a higher caliber, very little sweeter. You know what I'm saying? A little riper. But at the end of the day, y'all all the same. He was standing on that shit. You gonna hurt me. You gonna play games. You gonna do all this. You gonna make me dog walk your ass like the rest of them hoes. Period. This is how he felt. He felt like shit. You ain't no exception to the rule. You ain't no different. I already know. That's why I ain't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them could have been real cold. A lot of them could have been real childish. A lot of them could have just been unbearable to the point where you was like, ugh, why you? Like, God, why him? Like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? I hate this motherfucker so much, but damn, I want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the flip side, but damn, I want to. 
For real, like a lot of them was not looking at you like that. They was like, Shorty, you good, but shit, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have good, I didn't have better. You know what I'm saying? That's what they thought. But for real, they are now seeing like, damn, something about you. Something about you say solid. Something about you ain't never switch up. Something about you, one never move, one never shake. And this motherfucker like, damn, like this a solid motherfucker. This a loyal motherfucker. Like you don't come across a motherfucker like this. I ain't never met a, a, a motherfucker that I want to meet my parents. I ain't never met a motherfucker that I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to do, do better. I want to get clean if I got addictions. I want to, you know, be a better father. I want to be a better man. I want to provide. I want to tell a bitch to stay home. You don't got to work. She and these hoes be, 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 be passing me the check. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wants to be different. He's like, this bitch, she got to be magical. <laughs> A unicorn. <laughs> she gotta be. She gotta be different. It's it's something about you, motherfucker. Probably didn't do research and probably googled the shit. Like what? What is this? I'm feeling. Stumbled across it. Some of y'all could be spiritual. This motherfucker. Like let me just see the fuck they talking about. You know, I don't believe this shit, but let me just see. You know. The whole time, shit. They stumbled across it. Like hell yeah. I can't even. I can't even cap. Like. This motherfucking um, spiritual connection ain't no joke. Like, I ain't ever felt it before. Ain't no other bitch. I ain't in, nigga. You know what I mean? No, no. Ain't in, nigga. Made a motherfucker feel like you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Like, you was meant for me type shit. The next uh, card that we have is stop pressuring me. This was only supposed to be in one night stand. So... A lot of y'all could have experienced a situation where y'all thought that the um where y'all thought that the divine masculine was right on his way, like Cashnet USA, right? Um, I feel like a lot of y'all thought it was right around the corner, like y'all could breathe it, you could smell it, you could sniff it, you could you could. I mean, ain't that the same thing, smelling and sniffing? I guess you don't know. It may be a slight difference, but proceeding. Y'all could y'all could just feel it in the, like in the grips of your palms. You could feel this connection. You was like, okay, we coming into union. We coming into union. Y'all then, you know what I'm saying? Remodeled your crib and shit. You know what I'm saying? Got a a, a kitten re rejuvenation and shit. Y'all like, okay, they finna come. He finna lead this bitch. He coming. <laughs> Finally, you know what I'm saying? I'ma put that thing on him. We finna be straight. You know what I'm saying? Making moves, making money, shmoney. Okay, y'all was ready and prepared pair greased up like a turkey okay just to find out another way another pause like literally y'all could have been like it's coming i know what it is i know what it is we had a conversation today and i know this nigga talking different looking different walking different like he he actually keeping a job this nigga don't keep a job he get one motherfucking paycheck he got a little uh shoe box with his little pay paycheck stubs in there and shit all of them accumulates about 30 30 to 60 days then he off them motherfuckers you know what i'm saying temp services and shit he actually got a job is <laughs> he's making a year coming up this month Month. like for real y'all like there is a god thank you lord thank you he's changing he's changing he coming i feel it and then there's a halt because for a lot of y'all somebody come in and somebody's putting some type of pressure now there's two divine masculines that i'm picking up on one of these divine masculines is um one of these divine masculines have a karmic who is either fin to attempt to get pregnant saying that she's pregnant yeah, saying she's pregnant, attempting to get pregnant, something revolving around a baby, and this baby ain't got shit to do with your masculine on oh, God. <laughs> ain't got shit to do with your masculine on oh, on me. Ain't got nothing to do with your masculine, but for some reason, he's tied to this, and for a lot of them, it's a boy. It's a little boy. Now, on the opposite side, oh, for a lot of y'all, it's a little it's a little boy, but then it's a little girl, too. I'm getting a, um, you know, a little dark complected, uh, dark caramel, a dark complected little boy. Um, and I'm getting a, uh, light complected or a little mixed girl. I mean, it could be any nationality. That's just what I'm getting. You feel me? It could be any nationality, but yeah, a lot of y'all, I'm feeling like there's some type of child, child, um, 
involvement or some type of child situation that this one of these karmics is trying to put on your mask and they're like shit i'm pregnant or i you know what i'm saying you we are supposed to be locked in we supposed to be solid like you know why are you acting like this why can't you just love me why can't you give me that commitment i need like thinking the baby gonna keep the nigga and shit for some of them maybe they for some of them maybe maybe they are pregnant I don't feel like this motherfucking baby got shit to do with your masculine. And I'm standing on it. But for some of them, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's give uh, Carmita, uh, 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 Carmiana the benefit of the doubt. For some of them, they are pregnant, okay? For one pinky fool of uh, y'all motherfuckers, y'all are pregnant. And for the ones who are... Um, they just don't understand. They like, they, they could have, they just knew they like, okay, this motherfucker was going to get, you know, we was going to have a baby and he was going to, I was going to get the softer, the more, um, you know, put together, the more, um, you know, uh, loving, caring, um, thoughtful side of him. And this motherfucker ain't changing. If anything, he get worse. And it's like, but you can't really be mad because your intentions behind having a baby was to keep. A motherfucker to keep a man or to keep a woman like come on your intentions was wrong so you can't really get mad if it go wrong you feel me period um for y'all who don't resonate with that story then let that motherfucker fly so for another handful of y'all these um there's some carmianas that's coming in damn this finna be a long ass video there's some carmianas that's coming in and i definitely feel like carmichael or carmy is um it's like this is the type of person who is trying to find some form of entanglement or some form of like they may know your uh your your person's weak spot, right? This person may know your person's weak spot and come in and you know what I'm saying, if yo if your person uh be doing drugs and shit, pop a few pills or whatever, you know maybe your person likes a certain caliber of things or you know is 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 money hungry something you know what i'm saying this person to come in you know with with presents and gifts and all this shit that she know will make your masculine fall short and this time your masculine is literally like maybe he you know he's just tired he he done with it he like i didn't ice you bitches like get the point get the point already i'm done with y'all be gone you know what i'm saying ice well no no what is it I forget what it's called, the um bug spray, but <laughs> the bug spray. <laughs> but yeah, he trying to kill them bitches off. Like, I'm done. Like, what don't you get? Like, stop pressuring me to try to be a motherfucker that I ain't because I don't see you in that way. Like, shit, if I saw you in that way, trust, I would have wiped you. I ain't stupid. I know what it is. You feel me? I know how to be solid. I know how to be uh, monogamous. I know how to, you know, keep a motherfucker. I know when a bitch is worth it. I know when a nigga is worth it. And I just don't see you. I don't, I don't see me being that for you. And, um, I know that's kind of hard to digest y'all. So trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. I will put that on the title, but yeah, this is what I'm getting thoroughly. Like this motherfucker coming thorough than a motherfucker. He was, uh, you know, kind of trying to, um, you know, finesse some shit and cater a little bit to motherfuckers feelings. Cause you know, he needed them for shit or because, you know, cause he needed them for shit. Like motherfuckers was, um, you know, housing a nigga, giving them money and shit, doing certain things from letting them use their credit, all types of fool ass shit. So a motherfucker was like, let me be smooth. You know what I'm saying? Let me make a motherfucker feel like I care and shit. Ooh, that's disgusting. Ooh, that's disgusting as fuck. Oh my God. Letting a motherfucker buy you shit and shit. Whole wardrobe. This motherfucker didn't um sponsored and shit. You know, so this motherfucker gotta live up to a certain amount of respect or loyalty and shit. But now this motherfucker on their feet and shit. And this motherfucker is like letting you know, like, stop fucking pressuring me, bro. I this no, I don't it's a no. It's a no for me. Shit. You know? I'm sorry. Unfortunately, you don't get the golden tickets. You don't get the pass to the finals, baby. I don't know. I just I can't. <laughs> Period. I don't know what else to say. Um, I dream of making my family work. So yeah, for a lot of y'all, this is a family situation. Divine masculine is like shit. I dream of making um us work, even if it's a blended family, even if y'all don't necessarily got no kids together and this masculine got kids, you don't got kids, or uh y'all both got kids, but from different people. This person is definitely letting you know in this message that they want kids with you. If y'all already got kids, if y'all already got kids, they still want kids with you. Um. If y'all got a blended family and y'all got kids together, they want to blend them families together. They they want to make this a dream come true. They want the picket fence. They want all that. They're they're um confirming that for you now. Like they want all of that. They see that with you, divine feminine. Ah shit, I'm gonna stop pulling cars in a minute, y'all. 
if you give me one more chance, I promise it's your improve. So this motherfucker ain't coming short of nothing but um authenticity. This motherfucker ain't coming short of nothing but um purity of hard work, diligence, and um drive. Like this motherfucker, like whatever you want, whatever you need, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need me to do, I'm on that shit. Like I need you to know this time that I'm for real. I don't want to go back to that shit. Like. Ain't no more games. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of them could have played a lot of games. A lot of them could have been immature. A lot of them could have been real goofy or acted slow, acted stupid, acted immature as fuck. When you talk to them or when you linked up with them um, to prevent them from having to really get to the depths of things or really um, kind of exploring those real emotions that they were feeling. So they kind of um, camouflaged it with like um, immaturity, you know? Um, I definitely feel like these motherfuckers, you gon' you gonna see in a whole display, in a whole um blueprint, you gonna see in everything. They coming with it. Like these motherfuckers gonna have receipts, these motherfuckers gonna have a layout, these motherfuckers gonna have a game plan, like is you rocking or rolling? Period. This motherfucker wanna come in, they gonna give you the whole like I see a motherfucker like rolling out a whole blueprint, a whole map and shit. Like, this where I want to take us. You down? Like, like literally describing every step along the way and shit. This is what I want to happen with us. This is what I want the outcome to be. Can you see this? I just need a yay or nay. Can you see this with me? Period. Like, this motherfucker is not coming to play no games. And they is not, like, seriously, look. Stand on that shit. Next car. Stand on that shit. Like, just tell me you love me. And promise you'll never change your mind type shit. And I promise I'll make it worth your time. Like, this motherfucker just need you to confirm. Like, just, 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 just make it known that you still fucking with me and you still rocking with me and you ain't on that tit for tat. You ain't on that get back. Like, let me know that this is what you want. And I promise you, you, you won't regret it. I promise you, you won't. This motherfucker said they ready to show and motherfucking prove. Like, I don't give a fuck if I look like a goofy. I don't give a fuck, you know, if if my insecurity's showing. I don't give a fuck how motherfuckers feel, what motherfuckers say. I don't give a fuck about the, the, the naysayers. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Just tell me you rocking with me, Divine Feminine. And I promise you, I, I'm going to lead us to success. I promise you, ain't shit shaking this union. This motherfucker scared out they motherfucking draws. I can't even lie because my heart beating fast as hell. This motherfucker scared as hell to give you an opportunity to find feminine because they just feel like you got, they feel like they at a disadvantage. They feel like you got way too much power in this situation with their emotions, with their like stability, uh, like their mental stability, their emotional stability. They just feel like they're, they're giving you all the power. They feel like they are giving you all the control and that's something that they don't do at all and it got them scared shitless but they like if you tell me you won't leave if you tell me you will never let me go i promise you i got you from here on out i got you you won't regret that shit yep look because the whole time divine feminine like ah she like damn damn that sound good that's a good fucking that 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 was a good motherfucking um presentation it really was divine feminine i mean divine masculine that was really that was really good <laughs> she like that was extraordinary but i just don't trust you i don't trust your motherfucking ass further than i could throw you i don't <laughs> Period. <laughs> she like, I just shaking her head. Like, I just don't. I'd be sitting here lying if I told you I, I trust this. I trust you. I trust shit you talking about. Half of it went in one ear and out the other for real. Like, you didn't put me through some shit, baby. And I just, oh, I would be a fool, baby girl. Would be a fool. Like, I just could not do it. Period. Period. Big period. Little period. Period. Poo dot com. Period. I just, I don't know if I could do it. I do not trust you. I think of you when I'm with them. That's what Divine uh, Masculine is it. Then Divine Feminine, like, you know, the C, it's, 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 it's that type of shit. You shouldn't, that's what I'm talking about. It's the shit right there. It's the mindset right there. You thinking about me when you with them when you shouldn't even be with them the whole time. You should be here. 
how fam you shouldn't have to think about me you shouldn't have to reminisce you shouldn't have to be manifesting me and shit all that shit for the birds who gives a fuck about that been there done that heard that the fuck you should be right here it shouldn't be a matter of you going in between two it shouldn't be a matter of you telling me you stuck ain't no i'm not trying to hear that you talking about you was show and prove okay nigga show me show me Next card says, I'm getting my shit together so I can be the partner you need me to be. See, that's more like it. That's more like it. Divine Feminine says, see, that's what I need to know. That's what I need to know. So if you got to, you know, take your time, make sure you close that door, lock it shit, uh, lock it shit, and, and, and put the coffin in, I mean, put the uh, nail in that coffin, then do what you got to do. I ain't saying I'm going to wait, but I ain't saying it's too late. Just show and prove. Show me that I can trust you again. Show me, you know, I ain't, I ain't basing shit off, ain't shit shaking. I ain't basing shit off of your words no more. I ain't basing shit off no promises no more. I'm not postponing shit. If a motherfucker come to me tomorrow, if my Prince Charming come, I'm moving forward. I'm not putting my life on hold, my self on hold, my growth on hold. I'm worried about me. I'm focused on me. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I'm opposed to you coming and you showing me that you the nigga that I need you to be. So let's see what happened. And Divine masking like shit back. He like, that's all I needed to hear. He like, bad. He like, bad, mommy. That's all I needed to hear, period. He like, you're my twin flame. I know that now. I was in doubt. I didn't know before. Shit, fucking, fucking heart feel like it's finna explode, you know, putting my fucking feelings on, on, on my sleeves like this. But that's all I needed to hear. I needed you to let me know that you would give me that chance to prove it to you. Because I know you're my twin flame. I'm standing on it. I know you are my twin flame. I know you the person for me. I know you was made for me. Adam and Eve, baby. <laughs> so that's been you guys' is, um, channeling for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Karmix. Hope you guys liked it. If so, please like, share, subscribe. Bye. I'd rather be smoking.